What up, legends? Hey. We are headed about an hour's drive up the coast from where we're at right now to Bacleon. It is the oldest church in Bahol, on the island of Bahol. It's one of the oldest churches in the Philippines, but it's the oldest church on the island of Bahol. Let's ride. <laughs> Let's go. Protect the face. You know it. Flying dogs around here. There are flying dogs around here. This is Bacleon Church. Beautiful to see. Where I come from in St. Augustine, Florida, is one of the oldest forts in North America and the oldest European established colony in America. So I feel a little bit of a connection to this because this is like the St. Augustine of the Philippines. This is the oldest church and Christian establishment in the island of Bohol, which is a big island with a lot of beautiful people. It was founded by a Jesuit priest and an explorer in 1596 and the church itself <laughs> that's cool <laughs> you jumped that was awesome those were beautiful bells those bells have been ringing since 1737 when this was completed and it is what you see today still still so majority of this building is, is built just like a lot of where I'm from by coquina, limestone, and coral blocks. Coquina is crushed shell and coral. It is Sunday. They are bringing in the masses with the bell. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very beautiful. It's really cool. Uh, very historical. The fact that this church has stood through earthquakes and wars. Typhoons. It's still standing. Yep. The craftsmanship is amazing. Yep. Getting ready to be sunset. We just walked through, but then five o'clock mass started, so we want to 
give respect to that, so we stepped out of the church. Definitely a very beautiful, humbling, wonderful piece of engineering, masonry, and determination to make something that has lasted centuries. 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 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, and uh, this place is almost that old, so really amazing to see. So right across the street, though, ironically, is an all-night barbecue, Filipino street food, barbecue, spectacular little area. Uh, we've been to a few other ones around the islands. This one here looks to be really promising. I know me and the queen are definitely already hungry. They're just getting started, so as you can see, there's really nothing set up yet. There's two or three families that have just shown up with their trucks and their vans, and they're offloading, and their chairs and their ice and their red horse. <laughs> it's gonna be a little while. Once the flames and the smoke start rolling, it'll be uh, time. But what we're gonna do right now is walk out on the jetties, get a little uh, sunset imagery. All and right. then we will be back for dinner. <laughs> They're so photogenic. They're probably the most photogenic people on the planet. It looks like they have rebuilt the original breakwaters, which is really cool. But this is how the Spanish came in and created breakwaters for this area. Quite the sight to see. I mean, it's pretty awesome. You've got the jetty kind of boardwalk feel to walk around and see the sunset. You've got the rec center over here where they hold events and play sports. And right now it looks like they're practicing dances and <laughs> playing tennis. Amazing waterfront barbecue for dinner. And then Bacleon Church as they call it, the Immaculate Church. Alyssa's getting into this whole dance dance workout thing. She's, oh, they love Zumba here. Yep, she's the same height too. She fits right in around here. Dance and party. Dance, party, smile, sing a lot. Yeah, I fit in pretty well here. Yep. <laughs> oh my God, so much for B-roll. <laughs> oh my God. My woman is feeling spunky tonight. Good evening, have a good trip. Going to Pablo Milikan? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll come out there next time. Oh, next time. Oh. Have you been there already? One time. One time. I will be back. I love it. I love the people. <laughs> This is all about the dance. They're in there getting it. Dancing it up, huh? <laughs> oh, they even got the air guitar moves. Busting out the air guitar moves. I like it. This is an awesome little setup. The lighthouse. What's up? I'm gonna go run over there and dance with them. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> You're all about it, huh? They're looking at you like, look at this white girl. Brick moves. Get it. The water is literally gin clear. Perfect. Crystal clear. Is it crystal clear or gin clear? Let us know in the comments. Ooh. It's a house. It's a big house built into the hill. They've got a beautiful view of the ocean and probably part of the shore. Okay. 
if you know who has this house that we're showing you right now, tell them we'd like to visit and tour their house. <laughs> yes. And then take photos from there down here. That would be amazing. With a much bigger lens. People of Behold, I like to go fishing. My name <laughs> is Fish. I brought all my fishing tackle. I want to go fishing. Can you help me go fishing? Who has a boat and a local family who's ready to go fishing? Message me on Instagram or Facebook, comment below, give me all the information you can. I want to go fishing. And I want to go fishing here in Behold. And I want to catch awesome fish. So we're coming up to the end of the pier here. They got fishing rods, spear guns. They got a little bit of everything. Hello. Let's see what these boys are catching. Evening, sir. So it looks like they're running jigs. He's running a big bull popper on light tackle, too. Hello. Evening. Yesterday, a friend of mine uh, catches a giant trevally. Around, nice. Weighing around four kilos. GT. Yeah. GT right here off the end, huh? Okay. We're around at 6 p.m. Okay. They're coming up. Okay. Make sure. Uh, I'm going to go fishing every day I can here. We have a group, uh, group here in Bohol. We call that one Bohol Anglers. Bohol Anglers. Um, in short, we call each other Buang. Buang? Buang means crazy here in. If you call someone Buang, some people might be mad at you because it means like you're crazy. Right. But here we call it Bohol Angler, so it means a Buang. Okay. So you see someone using this kind of rod? Ah, so Boong as in Bohol. Angler yeah. short, but not Boong crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. if ever someone, you, you caught someone uh, bringing rods and reels, yep. you can call them Boong and they will say Boong to you also. Okay. Well, I brought many rods and reels. I'm just looking. We do jiggings. Sometimes we um, went there just to catch. Uh, okay. So we catch uh, ruby snappers, uh, dog tooth. Uh, oh, I'm looking to catch some dog tooth. I brought big rods too. Dog tooth, um, amberjacks. Okay. Uh, Any wahoo? Yeah, we have wahoo also, like mahi mahi, and also like uh, marlin. Okay. I brought rods big enough for marlin. And then <laughs> also like um, groupers. Grouper. Like groupers. We My favorite, Lomi. Over there. Mm. there and the other side, we call it one Snake Island. Okay that part and then um, in front of Dawis or maybe Panglao. Yep. At the other side we call that one uh, Palaban. Okay. So sometimes we use like Navionics yep. to find a perfect spot for fishing. I brought my Navionics. Oh, that's I brought my fish finders too. We have yep. like we have also a taco shop located in in Ramiro Hospital near oh. Ramiro. Okay. So that guy is the manager of the taco shop. Okay. And we also have, uh, we so have that's the tackle shop manager? Yeah. What is your name, sir? DJ. DJ. Nice meeting Dagan. you. Dagan. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Florida. Florida. Oh, yep. Oh, you can catch a lot of fish in Florida. All the fish. It's very similar to here. Mangroves, saltwater reefs. Where's the drop off? How far? 50 meters. 50 meters is the ledge? Yeah. Okay. It's already deep. So I just met DJ, right? DJ? Yeah. DJ's a local fisherman and he's part of the local Bohol Angler team. Yeah, or Boang. 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 I think I found my people. Yeah. <laughs> but if we like sometimes uh, we do fish only when we have no break time. Um, Christian, another Christian. <laughs> my name's Dagan. This is Alyssa. Bohol Tackle Shop uh, located near in Romero Hospital, Tandaran City, Bohol. Philippines. Okay. <laughs> Near Ramirez Hospital, Tag Balaran. Okay, we're gonna go by. Uh, we when, when, when are you open? The whole uh, every Monday to Saturday. Okay. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, we're coming by. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small What do you guys have? Way back before we blew it all What's going on? I can't keep track of them all. From people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls. I feel like. Okay, well, 
<laughs> we just met my people. <laughs> it's time to go feed the queen here. We're gonna go get some delicious dinner because I'm just as hungry as she is. And uh, let these boys fish. We will be back with Bohol Anglers. Boing. <laughs> Okay, good luck, sir. We'll see you soon. He's fishing. He's a diehard. DJ, see you soon. Yeah, nice meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. We'll be around. Just don't forget to hide the thing. I did. It's on there. I'll post and I'll come back. Good luck tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back this week. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm down. I'll be back this week. I'm going to the shop, and then I'm coming here. <laughs> awesome group of people. Awesome time. All you gotta do is come out, smile, and say hi. Ask those questions and you'll make a friend. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> These guys are eating fresh uni, okay? Fresh uni. He just went in, plucked the uni, split it. They're eating uni. Sea urchin and rice for dinner, sunset by the sea. I love the Philippines. He found his people now he wants to But I still need to serve. I'm glad we came to Buckdown. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck. Can you be yeah. All right, babe. Time for dinner. Yay! My favorite part of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Dinner time. So, just got done walking out and talking to the boys on the pier. And now we are headed right back over to dinner, which was empty a few minutes ago <laughs> and now it's already packed it's gonna be a lot busier here soon and it smells delicious it smells, so good. It smells so good let's go, go eat jinx <laughs> Chicken leg? Sure. Okay. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want rice? Yep. Three rice. I'm not going to be able to do this. It's a little smoky around here. These guys are beasts. You can never hear a complaint from a line cook in America ever again. Of course, you're looking at the baby. <laughs> I mean, so cute. <laughs> got his rice and his spicy sauce. I'm already happy. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the fat first. Always eat the fat when it's hot. It's delicious. So good for you too. Get him what eat with your hands. Pork fat. How is it? Oh. All right, I'm going to put the camera down and we're going to enjoy our dinner. We'll see you guys later.
How was dinner? Dinner was delicious. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Very happy. My tummy is full. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.